I don't get it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite stocks that I've been recommending on the channel a lot. Ever since the crash, this one company, I've been telling you guys if you are a swing investor or if you're a long term investor, this one stock you cannot go wrong with at the price that it was trading for. So, if you've been watching my videos, you definitely know what stock I'm talking about. But if not, the stock is ticker symbol B A Boeing company. I've been recommending Boeing here now for the past three weeks and telling you guys it's a buy, buy, buy. Um, I personally own Boeing. So just for transparency, I have Boeing in my portfolio and I love it. So uh, the question is, should you still buy Boeing right now? Um, I think the answer is yes. And I'm going to explain why. Uh, Boeing has actually gone through some really crazy mood swings during this market crash. So think about it. Um, prior to the market crashing, and I've, I've already talked about it here on the channel, Boeing was trading close to about $400, I think $398 a share. Um, during the market crash, Boeing dropped down to as low as, um, I think, $95. So if you are looking at Bowman's like from $398 to $95, that is a bag in that no other place you can find. So, and I was super excited about it and I jumped in and bought a lot of Boeing at that point. Um, knowing fully well that it's for long term, um, I have it in my, in my uh, dividend portfolio. So from my perspective, I was looking at Boeing from, hey, income, because if, if at $95, even if it goes back just to $300, see how much money. So for each stock that I buy for Boeing at 95, if it goes back to $300, I'm sitting on $205 in, in return. That is excellent. But on top of that, Boeing is also paying you dividends. So you're getting growth and you're getting income. So I, when I, I recommended Boeing at 95, I said, buy, buy, buy. Um, I bought some, some people bought it. Then Boeing just kind of like took off and went back to $180. You know what I'm thinking like, oh, okay, maybe Boeing hit the bottom at 95 and they went back up. So next thing I know, last week, Boeing went back down to 121. But that was still, I bought some at that price even still. So I added some to my position. And then guess what? This week, Boeing just started the week at $144. So if you look at that from that perspective, Boeing is actually going through some sort of mood swings in my, in my opinion. Um, it's just because of the market. Um, the coronavirus thing is affecting every company. So Boeing is not an exception to that. Um, I know Boeing has had the issues in the past with your 737 MAX. So a lot of people were canceling the, the orders for the 737 MAX. But still, even through with those cancellations, Boeing was still trading at close to $398. So that tells you a lot. And then one other thing you should take into consideration is that here in the United States, they're not going to let Boeing come crashing because it's not like Boeing, they have another company that's competing with Boeing to manufacture planes here in the United States. The only other competitor would be abroad, like Airbus in Europe. So the government would do everything in their power to protect Boeing. Boeing has a lot of manufacturing jobs in Seattle um, that they, I mean, they just cannot let people go like that. Um, and so if you listen to the president, he talks a lot about helping Boeing and making sure that they get back on their feet, which is to me, that's a sign that that's a company that would definitely get a bailout if anything were to go wrong. But as of right now, things are still moving smoothly with Boeing. They're just going through the, the same um, uh, economic impact that all other companies are going through because of the coronavirus. As soon as the virus thing is over, Boeing is going to get back on track. Is it going to hit? $398 immediately? The answer is probably no, but it's going to climb and head in that direction. So I'll still say that keep your eye on it. Watch it. If you can get Boeing under $150 a share, um, my personal opinion, that is a really, really good price. And you just keep, just hold it and watch it grow. So um, that is my recommendation. I just want to talk about it because I still have a lot of people asking me like, hey, is Boeing a buy even at 144 right now? I'll say yes. Um, and you, you can start buying small. So you don't have to go out. Let's say if you have five grand, I don't want you to just take all that five grand and dump it into Boeing. So what you do is you can start this week, you spend a thousand dollars, right? And then watch if the market goes down, you buy more. 
If the market goes down, you spend another thousand. If it keeps going down, you spend another thousand, just like that. Then when you average it out, you see that your average cost will be really, really low compared to where you started buying. So if you started buying at 150, it goes down to 125, you buy some. It goes down to 100, you buy some. When you average it out, you see that your average cost would be somewhere around 120, which is excellent. So that is my recommendation. I want us to talk about Boeing. It's still a buy. Um, it pays solid dividends. Um, it's a company that would get a bailout if there was any case or uh, anything wrong. Um, the government would step in and help them out. Um, and there's a lot of people in government that have their hands in Boeing and they're not just going to sit there and watch it crash. So you you know for sure that your investment is not just going to disappear in thin air. So that's um, that's my take on it. So question of the day, what do you think about Boeing? What What's your feeling about it? Do you think that Boeing, because of the cancellation, they're going to suffer? Or do you think Boeing is still a buy at that price? Let me know in the comment section. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that really interests you, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell because uh, YouTube will not let you know that I posted a new video if you don't hit that bell. And also, if you are just watching, YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel. So just take a second and hit that subscribe button for me. It really does help the channel grow. And as always, guys, stay motivated.